possibility to tell about a story. Uh, it's not really on a space, but on an earth, and it's not a rocket science, but uh, photonics. And uh, my story is about, uh, I would like to say, a very specific and niche product uh, in field of photonics. And uh, I was in a bit doubt how to start my presentation or put some pitch about how good this uh, device is and how it is uh, uh, and how we could uh, commercialize it. But I uh, decided to start with some boring uh, slide where I show some chronology, how it goes. And it shows, it is some evidence of what was uh, yesterday, several times mentioned that this deep tech uh, innovation takes a long time. It's, if you see, it started almost 10 years ago, and uh, actually last year we commercialized it. And what is important also, it is um, supported by several projects, and uh, starting from European Council project, then was some... Um, two European Development Fund projects, and uh, the last one was extremely important. It really allows our idea to bring to, to market and really commercialize. So the 10 years, uh, three projects and maybe some smaller things also involved, but how it, is go uh, how it goes and how it will be developed. Actually, it started with uh, Horizon 2020 project with very, I would like to say, ambitious uh, target. There was idea to, to, to harvest the waste heat by thermoelectric devices, and uh, thermoelectric devices was expected to build uh, from organic molecules, what is very, uh, how to say, green idea, because it's sustainable, reusable, and whatever. And uh, somehow we get on this project. Actually, we get on this project uh, because we have very long heritage in organic electronics. Our laboratory started more than 50 years ago, and uh, the leader of project, uh, Simon Woodford from Nottingham University, find the papers from 1970, where uh, we started to investigate really this uh, compound, what was under his interest, and he brings us in. So our task was to build uh, some proof of concept device because project was uh, so-called future emerging technology call and we did it uh, uh, and uh, our particular task was to build thin film uh, thermoelectric generator uh, uh, out of this tetra -t or tetra molecule and we built uh, what is the thermoelectric generator it is really some device what converts uh, heat uh, to electricity or difference in temperature, as I shown here in this slide, to some voltage and uh, current, of course. And uh, to get out the power, there must be two things, the voltage and, and, and possibly to draw out current. Our generator was made of very thin films, and uh, it is some kind of nanogenerator. And in a sense, it is a nanogenerator not just because of nanofilms, but it's just because it generates just nanopower. And as a nanopower, nanowatt power generator, it's actually useless. Uh, if it is microwatts, then something you could do with this, but this uh, nanowatt uh, device is just proof of concept stuff. At the end of the project, we recognized that maybe this big disadvantage of our nano device, we could turn in some better uh, and completely different application. We can use this beautiful generated voltage by temperature difference uh, in, in some kind of heat sensor or radiation sensor. And we came up with a very simple concept of uh, thin film thermoelectric generator and uh, what is uh, most important, it is simple in uh, production and have some several very beautiful uh, features. What was not possible before with thermoelectric uh, uh, sensors. And uh, we built the prototype, 
We first, of course, we made a patent out of this. Uh, it was patented. And uh, then we built a prototype. Actually, the sensor and, and stuff is just a small part in the uh, red circle. Of course, we could not uh, prototype and get some TRL 4 or 5, or at the end we have as a prototype level TRL 7, uh, without some readout electronics and things like that. And, and that's a story also in our team. We have very broad range of uh, knowledge. We have electronic specialists, we have specialists in, in film uh, deposition, we have specialists in uh, investigation of el el electrical properties and things like that. We have, by myself, somehow the photonics man who knows what needed is for laser industry, and that goes. And we built the prototype and start to investigate. It was known already by us that this device will be extremely fast, fast in comparison to other ones. At present situation, it's a thousand times faster than at the market available thermoelectric sensors. If we will be finished it a bit earlier, some five years ago, it probably could be possible. Then we will be one million times faster than the fastest one. But now it's just 1,000. And what is quite important, uh, it covers a very broad range of uh, uh, light radiation, I would say, from, I don't know, probably we could go farther deep in UV, deeper UV, and maybe also farther in e e infrared, but uh, it covers a very broad range of uh, spectra, so it can be used in a lot of... Uh, devices and things. And, and what is the most important thing is uh, that our detector or sensor is not sensitive or uh, this sensor speed is not dependent on size. We could make it very small or very large. And uh, the idea to have a very large and fast sensor is uh, some kind of holy grail because in nowadays when you start to measure very powerful lasers. The problem is that every sensor consists of material, and every material has some break uh, point where what radiation it could sustain. And, and you have to expand uh, the laser beam to, 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 to be beyond, beyond this threshold, this, to measure it with whatever materials you use. But there, for every material, there is such, such threshold. But usually, if you go for wide and large sensor, it typically loss, losing the speed. As wider it gets, it gets slower. In the, our case, due to some physics involved here, I'm not going to tell about it. Now, it's not dependent on, on the size. We could build as large as we can. It will be the same speed. So, the finalizing, there is in a market, we know we made a, at la, uh, in this last project some search, uh, market search, there is a sensors with wide spectral range, but usually the response time is slow. Uh, or other set of sensors is uh, very fast sensors, but Typically, they are usable in narrow range. And also for these very fast sensors, the problem is that they usually are very small. They are pin photodiodes and things like that. So you couldn't build a large and fast sensor with that technology. And uh, our sensor combines all this beautiful green stuff. And uh, it is working in wide spectral range, very fast and not dependent on size. So that's the selling point, what we use to sell it and, and, and commercialize. And then uh, finally, uh, we did it. And what was the prerequisite for our success? I would start with uh, first one, it is this scientific heritage, what brings us on the board of first project, but also this heritage 15 years in thin film production, investigation, organic de material deposition, and 
electronics and things like that allows us to do it with, within one team. And I would like to say, with quite a small amount of funding. I'm not saying how much it goes in that one, but uh, it was not a big money in, in, in this. Also, what is important, even this funding was small, but it was continuously. We worked, not stopped work on, on this, on all the development time, and it's quite important, because nowadays you start something, the finance stops, on this project in academic institution and uh, you take another project and, and, and it jumps. But this is a story about the consistent financing. And of course, I mentioned already that we have multidisciplinary knowledge within our team, even if it's small. And the uh, fourth one is uh, also it will be not possible if the institute will not have such infrastructure what we have. Other cases, of course, we could outsource some things, but uh, then it will cost much more and probably uh, need uh, maybe more longer time, I think. And uh, finally, I would like to say that we were very happy that at the end point we get on, on, on our project board, Dietz uh, Ozolinch, uh, somewhere maybe in the auditory here, who did a lot of job in the final commercialization step and, and uh, the understanding of selling points, what we give him was uh, very good and he finds the right way how to commercialize. And uh, to finalize, I have just one slide. So that was maybe normally put in as a first slide in normal presentation, but I put it in last one. So we developed technology that is very good for short uh, laser pulse registration. It is some thousand times faster than currently in use. The technology is quite useful for all uh, laser processing equipment and things. For instance, the surgical equipment, you could uh, control it with help of that fast sensor, the radiation dose, impulses, and so on. We have patent indeed in the European Union, USA, Canada, and China. And lastly, thanks to project and uh, DIRTS and uh, all team, we sold this uh, to Torlabs GmbH, which the things that he will, they will start to produce at the end of this year and, and then selling around. Thank you. <laughs>